is Stateless Codecast. This is our fourth video in our series contributing to Rails. And in our previous videos, we have identified a problem, installed the Rails dev box, and then in our last video, we uh, cloned the Rails updated master branch into our own repo on GitHub, made our fix, and pushed back to my, uh, my GitHub branch. And we pulled it down onto the Vagrant Rails dev box, and now we're going to uh, to try to bundle that version of Rails and run the test suite on it to see if there's anything else we need to fix. So that's where we're going to pick up now. If we look at our documentation. We want to be in this directory, and then we should be able to to bundle this this version of rails so try bundling here pause while this happens because it might take a little while. You'll note here that it's using the the version from source for active support and it will do the same thing for the other included Rails gems here. So we'll let that continue. And we'll also note here while Nokogiri is installing, that always takes a while, that the the version here is showing is 6.2.0 dot alpha so just in terms of time frame when we're doing this 6.1 is in release candidate status right now the current version of rails is 6.0.3 so that's just kind of where we are in the timeline when this video is being made so any changes we would create here would be uh, only live from potentially 6.2 on or 7.0 on depending on if and when this contribution gets accepted. So our local version of Rails is installed now. If we go back up and see that it's using them all from uh, from the current directory. So we're going to go our current version of Rails here. Let's look at the, the docs here. We'll just do bundle exec here. that. Install our bundle here. Most of the dependencies should be already installed, so this should install much quicker. Got some native extensions, which always take a little while to compile relative to other normal Ruby gems. We'll pause while Webpacker installs. We're running our test now. 
we went into, I was talking over the pause recording, so we went in and uh, looked at the contributing section here. You can run your Rails tests on a specific set of components, uh, which is what we're doing now, and then if we're successful, we will have our uh, run, run on the full suite before we um, do our next section and video on actually opening up the Rails issue and the pull request for everything. So we'll pause and let this continue to run. So this is the scaffold generator test. This is the one that's particular to what we've been running here. Let's see how this performs. This is the most likely one we'll have to modify. So we did succeed on the scaffold generator test. So it was one of the, the slower tests in the, in the suite, but we'll continue to let this run. And unless we get any failures, we'll just pick up the video when it completes. So our real ties generators tests have completed. Scroll up. everything passed. So now we're going to run the whole suite. Do, go back a directory and we're going to do bundle exec break test. And we'll pause again because this is going to take a long time. We'll pick it back up when it finishes. So our test suite has completed. There were a few failures. I'm quite certain that none of these have anything to do with the, the change to the generator I've done. It's not uncommon for Rails Master to be failing at some point somewhere. So scroll up. All this is server stuff, booting Puma, DB console. And yeah, so I think we're, we're good to make our changes to the change log, which we'll do in our next uh, video and then we'll uh, work on opening a github issue we'll open a feature request or feature proposal on the rails mailing list to propose inflecting the indefinite article properly and then we'll open our pull request to the rails repo itself Thanks for watching this Stateless Codecast. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. You can follow us on social media at Stateless Code. Until next time, keep coding, and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf.